Here we are on day three of our weekend away. We're taking our friend Sam, Paul and our godson Ben to Norchard Station, which is part of the Dean Forest Railway. Um, it was founded in 1970 and um, is run by lots of enthusiasts and volunteers. So this is the uh, train that we went on this day with Sam, my friend, whose wedding was yesterday. And Ben, this is our godson, Ben. It was his baptism christening also on day two. So hopefully you will have seen um, those videos. So the first thing that we did when we got there was go to the museum. I love museums. Um, I love all aspects of our social history. It was really interesting to see how much of stuff was preserved. This is Paul with my husband back there, Sam's husband. So I just take photos of things that really, really interest me and things that have been around for years. So like I say, this foundation has been going since 1970, but the things that are on display come from all over the place, um, all over the different railway systems. You got as small as that? Yeah, but as small as that, that's massive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look how small you could have it for. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think how much you can make of it because it's so small. Well, that's what he's doing. If I put one of my engines on there, it'll be almost any length. Yeah, it will be. Yeah. It's like the whole length of his bedroom. Yeah. I don't care. Yes, you do. No, I know you don't care about that. I can't believe it. I've been told to be the book for two years. That's what you want to do. You want to tell God. I love miniatures. If you know anything about me, you know that I absolutely adore anything in miniature. <laughs> this is lovely, as is Paul's own personal layout. There were loads in the car park, I, I think it was, I saw them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fun. He's got to wait his turn. He's got to wait now, hasn't he? But is this the only train that's on the track yeah. today? Yeah. And the second one's up there, isn't he? Yeah. Up there? Okay. I think he set the wrong route. Yeah. 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 What an amazing sound. What's the two whistles for then? Just because he wanted to. Two on the back of the train. Oh, you've got a uh, normal whistle, you've got a brake whistle. Oh, right. So if in the moment, when you've got the old toll trains and stuff, if they needed a brake on the, the guard, you put, put it on the brake whistle and the guard would put his handbrake on and brake rack. I see, yeah. If they've been it's like a different tone whistle. Yeah. 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 If they've been fitted, Noise. That's the vacuum pump in the cylinder there. No, that's that one. Yeah. That's the valve. Not sure how well you can see us. Oh, I think that's right. We, um, Russ and I took Sam, Paul and Ben to a railway, a local railway, because Sam and Paul are railway enthusiasts. Is, is anybody who knows me and knows my friend Sam will realise. And um, Emma Jane stayed here with um, Sam's family, didn't you? Too hot, definitely too hot for you, wasn't it? And she's tired from yesterday. She had such a good time. Yeah, your baby's behind me. I know. Oh, yeah, we'll get her. So she's going to go and see if Hazel's about to play. Yeah, she might be. She might be. We'll go and see. So she's got another nice pretty dress on today. Um, today is Sunday. We are leaving. Um, it's about four o'clock now, I think. We're leaving at six. Um, it's about three hours. 
It took us three hours to get here, but it might not take us three hours to get back. It depends on traffic. Because it really shouldn't have took us that long. But um, it was the end of the holiday traffic, the end of the school holidays traffic. So we're going to go on then. We've got stuff, then we can sort of get home, go to bed. We'll have to sort the caravan out tomorrow. We can go pick Millie up. Millie's with Rebecca, my eldest daughter. And then we can, um, I suppose, back to work on Tuesday. So, yeah. I mean, I'd like to stay here longer. <laughs> Sam's here till Tuesday. But I can't. Why? Tuesdays I have my appointments. But I could um, move them. Um, but on Thursday, I go to Down and Market. Because next weekend is the Peterborough Doll Show. Which I always go to and I love going to. So I need to rest because I've got to got that then um i'm taking henry and frankie because frankie's going with auntie amy to have work done um and yeah i'm taking henry hopefully i won't be tempted if i take henry and um yeah staying up there i am in a sam said like an airbnb it's it's like someone's holiday let and uh from thursday to tuesday i'll be doing that i think it's thursday to tuesday thursday to wednesday <laughs> we'll worry about that when the day comes <laughs> right let's find out what's something to do so this is what emma jane has been doing this afternoon because it is too hot to play outside isn't it girls hey the babies are fast asleep and the girls have been here watching the telly in um Auntie Lorraine and, and Mel's caravan. It's so cool in here, actually, and it's boiling outside. Absolutely boiling. Look what Kushia Lorraine's got. I'm so jealous of it, and I've told her when she sells it to let me know. <laughs> I always wanted this one. It won't fit in my car. But look at it, it's got caravans all over it. I love it. I am so jealous. Oh, I love prams. <laughs> Here it is, Auntie Lorraine. <laughs> Where's Emma Jane? Emma Jane's listening there to everything oh, Auntie Lorraine is saying. And Did Auntie Jo have... is sprawled out because, Auntie Jo, it's boiling here, isn't it? It's too hot. It is too it's hot. It's really hot. You've got to keep your hat on. So this is, Paul is going red. Yeah. Paul, keep the hat on. Don't burn. And so... <laughs> It's packing up. Frankie, We're packing had, up. And you've had a good day. We've you? had a great time. We have really had a great time. Okay, it's empty campsite now. Because <laughs> we are going. And um, we have had such a lovely time. And I really want to thank um, Sam and Paul. Lorraine and Mel. Um... James and Summer, <laughs> Sam's sister, gosh, what's your name? <laughs> you know me and my fibro. Oh, Joe. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Hello to Joe and hello to Hazel. Hello to Lorraine and all the babies. Russ is literally just hooking up. Um, you need a fob to get in and out of this, of this place. And so that's just, um, we're just waiting. We don't have a fob. So we are just waiting. So we've been here behind us. It's a very nice site. It's been great. So I just want to thank them all for inviting us over this weekend. We've had a great time. Come on, Paul. <laughs> so those huts look those pods look really nice yeah, I so i was thinking if they stay if they came up again and russ couldn't bring up the caravan and couldn't have time off work i could always see if i could stay in one of those pods it's really quiet now the site so i didn't really talk walk around the site and show you the site they've got donkeys in here which we see this morning, but now they're all in the shade because it is so hot. And the cafe, cafe is there. We had breakfast there this morning. Cafe is really, really good. 
and um, this is the play area. And this was full this morning, wasn't it? Mm. Kids playing, people having their breakfast. Oh, you can see the donkeys here, look. Where are the donkeys? Uh, uh. Oh, you bloody things, by the way. It was a really, really nice campsite. We've had a great time.